Hey, my name's John Hill. I'm the senior pastor of First Church in DeMont and Wheatfield, Indiana, on the corner of 10 and 231. Our services in DeMont and Wheatfield are 8, 9, 20, 10, 40, and 6 p.m., and in Hebron at 800 County Square at 9 and 10, 30. What I like best about First Church, it's not the messages, it's not the music, it's the community. Oh, it's so incredible to connect with people and see Jesus thriving in people's hearts and seeing people grow in love for Jesus together. I think what makes First Church unique is our incredibly diverse group of people. I mean, it's rich, poor, old, young, really experienced in church, not really experienced in church. I think really rarely in America do you find such a diverse group of perspectives drawn together by who we're for, not what we're against. I think it's the last truly tolerant, engaging place in America where we can have such an incredible group of people that are so positive in what we're for and not what we're against. And I like that. Our mission is to see generation after generation become fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ. We're a 127-year-old church, and our goal from at least the moment I've gotten here has been to raise a thriving church that will reach the next generation. And it's been really cool to see that happen and to watch great-grandparents see their great grandchildren choose to follow Jesus here and get totally re-engaged with the gospel after maybe young and teenage years far from God. It's been really incredible. We do a lot of different outreach, but my favorite piece of outreach that we do is our weekend services. I think that it's an incredible and engaging place to bring a friend who's far from God. And I love seeing our whole church be focused on the process of discipleship, winning their friends to Jesus in one-on-one -on -one conversations. And I think that's by far the best outreach that we have is equipping people to share Jesus with their friends after a weekend service. Well, we have over 70% of our church that is engaged with volunteering and life groups, but I think our biggest focus is to raise up followers of Jesus who live out the Great Commission, and we want everybody in the church to be able to see someone in their life be filled with life in Christ through gospel proclamation in their own life. And I think that's been just such an incredible and cool thing to see people who have maybe been following Jesus for 30, 40, 50, even 70 years for the first time in their life in a one-on-one -on -one conversation get to lead a friend to Christ. And that's something that we focus on really heavily and we love seeing it. Shinedot FM has actually played a huge role in our church. I think that through good times and bad times, different church members have been super engaged with sowing generosity into Shinedot FM, hosting concerts. We've hosted a lot of different concerts at our church over the years. I use Shine.fm in my car all the time with my kids. I think it's incredible. And it's interesting when you're growing up, you know, my parents used to always make me listen to Christian radio in Minnesota. And I was like, ah, oh, now I love it. You know, it's super great. And hearing my kids talk about the gospel of Jesus because of things they heard on the radio when they're, you know, three, four, and five years old is super cool to me. And uh, I think hearing my kids sing Christian songs, like in the bath, you know, and everything else is really moving to me. In an Asian household, music was never the thing. But the older I grow, the more I love it. And the more I love seeing my kids engage with Jesus through music. So yeah, it's been a pretty pretty cool experience. And uh, I would say for the first time in my life, radio in general has played a pretty big role in my life. We have two big special events we're doing for Easter. We're actually doing the Amazing Race. So starting on Easter, we're giving an opportunity for people who engage with our church on Easter Sunday to begin this awesome thing called the Amazing Race with their family. And it's a series of adventures and challenges that they get to do. Even if it's your first time here, you can engage with it. And I think it's going to be a really cool way to engage in ensuing Sundays with a spiritual thing during the week that will then be rewarded on Sunday, which I think will be cool. And then in the summer, like many churches during the month of July, we do something called At The Movies. And I really want to teach our church to see See and discern God's truth in secular things like movies and books and other things that we see. And so we'll be teaching biblical truths rooted within movies, and we're going to be teaching our church to discern biblical untruths in movies as well. So it's an incredible experience. We deck out the lobby, and this summer we'll be doing a Space Jam theme, which is going to be cool. So we'll have Looney Tunes in the lobby and everything else at uh, all of our locations. And I think it's a really special thing that we get to do and celebrate as a church and come together and use all of our gifts and talents to obviously deck out the lobby and, and have a little bit of fun at church. I think your personal relationship with Jesus Christ is such a big deal, and I want to encourage you to persevere and to thrive and be unashamed in a world that I think casts a lot of shame on good things. I think that Jesus leads to the highest level of life satisfaction in this life and the next, certainly not the highest level of comfort, but Jesus is so worth it, and his promises are real. And as someone who comes from a Buddhist family on one side, an atheist family on the other side, Jesus is the only way. And I want to encourage you with everything that I have to sow the gospel into your 
your children and your children's children and to fight for it. He's worth it. And I'm so, so glad that so many different people sold the gospel into my family's life. To see us go from Buddhists and atheists to followers of Christ, it's just been really great. And I'm so thankful for the people who have gone before us. And I'm so thankful for the people that God's going to reach through you as you are relentlessly focused on sharing the gospel with the next generation. 